Hello and welcome to Faith Life Family. I'm Missy DeConti. Today you're in for a rare treat as we have servant of God, Carlo Acutis's mother, who in her own right has been appointed for the last 20 years as a volunteer for the Academy of the Pontifical Academy for the Martyrs. They job, their job as, it, as an executive body is to analyze the martyrs throughout the ages, even some that are a bit more re, uh, recent. Um, however, today we're going to be discussing uh, Carlo Acutis, his life that made a great impression and continues to on so many as he passed away at the tender age of 15, yet his legacy lives on because he has started something called the Eucharistic Miracles Exhibition that can come to a parish near you. Uh, once you visit the website and we'll find out more about that, you can learn about the many Eucharistic miracles that are church approved, that are well over 150 of them, as well as Marian apparitions that are 2,200 or more. So much to learn, even some recent church approved again, uh, Eucharistic miracles that I guarantee you know nothing about, but will soon. We'll also be taking your calls uh, Antonia is willing to uh, take your calls and chat in the live chat room at 440-536-3699. She joins us live from Rome, Antonia salzano Acutis. Please welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, welcome. Welcome from Rome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you. So many people um, are, are following your son, um, servant of God, Carlo Acutis, um, but some people are, are unfamiliar with him. And I, I think it's remarkable how he was a regular, uh, in one respect, he was a regular young man that loved computers and, and designing websites. And I've heard that he was a computer genius at some point, but nothing got in the way of his true love for our Lord in the most blessed sacrament. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, of course. Uh, I mean, Carlo was a, 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 a very, very simple guy huh? because he didn't, uh, um, he was uh, used to do all what normal, uh, the normal age uh, boys of uh, that age do. So he was uh, special in the, in the routine life. But uh, he was not, uh, he, he was doing uh, playing football or uh, having his, his friends or studying or, but uh, you know, the center of his life, uh, the center of his day was the, 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 the meeting with the Jesus in the blessed sacrament. So he used to go to the church each day to do Eucharistic adoration either before or after and uh, to pray the rosary uh, each day. So this was a little bit uh, his, uh, you know, his, uh, his special point because uh, for the rest it was quite, uh, quite normal because he used to do a, a very common life, you know. But uh, this uh, uh, meeting with Jesus pre present in the, in the Blessed Sacrament was his, uh, uh, was his, uh, his goal, you know. The, all the day, all the activities were around this uh, meeting with Jesus. So, uh, I mean, uh, something that uh, everybody could do, actually, because it's not so difficult to do, no? But this was uh, the fundamental of his, uh, uh, of his, uh, his uh, spiritual life, no? And uh, each, each week he used to, to do confession because, uh, um, do you hear me? Yes. Yes. yes, because he said they used to say that our um, our 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 soul is like uh, you know the balloon that are how do you know how you call in English the balloon that goes up uh, in the in the sky how the do hot, you air, hot air balloon or helium balloon helium balloon yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that uh, when there is the fire, like when we, uh, our, our soul is like uh, this uh, balloon, no? when you switch on the, 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 the fire, it, it goes up, like when you do confession. No? Right. But when uh, to do up, you need to, to throw away some of uh, the, the, the weights, no? Because so the this balloon can go up, and that are the uh, the, 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 the 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 little scene we do, no? That we have to 
to of course to um, also to 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 to, to, to put away how, about her because we have to destroy to struggle with this little thing because this avoid us to go up in the virtue because uh, as you know the church uh, declare somebody uh, saint not because he did special miracles or special things, but especially because he lived heroically the seven virtues. The virtues are a, a, a stable attitude of, the, of our will to the good, okay? okay? So this is very difficult to achieve. It's very difficult because in life we have a lot of temptations, a lot of problems uh, through, through our path, you know? And so uh, this is the most important uh, point for the church uh, to see if you heroically live these seven virtues that are faith, charity, um, uh, hope, no? I, I don't know how you call it. Then uh, prudence, uh, temperance, uh, and uh, justice, uh, uh, and... Uh, and for fortitude, how you say? Fortitude. Mm -hmm. yep. fortitude. Okay. So this is the, the most important things for our spiritual life. And this virtue can be achieved by everyone. everyone, everyone no? So it's not something that is uh, uh, difficult uh, because every, everybody can achieve these uh, virtues, no? heroically virtues. Right. And uh, the church says that when, for example, we think about Father P or, or St. Francis of Assisi, they used to do uh, taumaturgical uh, miracles, like uh, to, to change wine, uh, water in wine, or, or Father Pio had the stigmata for many years, etc. But these, uh, these are gifts that Jesus gives uh, um, uh, without uh, uh, this uh, gratuitous gift of Jesus. We don't have any merit any, uh, to have this gift, you understand? So this is not uh, the meter of our sanctitude. So the church, uh, even if you do miracles or do, and you don't have the virtues, they won't never declare you saint, okay? Right. But in the gospel, we have many episodes in which there was Simon Mago, for example, displaying miracles or things like this, no? So um, it's not this the point, the most important point. So uh, it's important for us to achieve these virtues, heroic virtue, virtue in our life. And this is something that that uh, uh, Carlo achieved through a very uh, a, a, a rich uh, Eucharistic life, uh, a sacramental uh, sacramental life, uh, because it's very important. Sacrament, as we know, we are, uh, are at disposal of everybody. No, right. Carlo used to say that uh, we are much more uh, um, we're lucky. Uh, respect to the people that 200 years ago used to stay with Jesus, in contact with Jesus, because we can find anywhere, just going down in the first church where there is the best sacrament, Jesus. So our Jerusalem, we have under the, our house. No, we don't need to go to, to do trip or to do pilgrimages because we have Jesus with us. No, right. He promised in the gospel, I will be with you till the end of the time. So this promise, Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus is really with us each day. So the, 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 so Carlo, we can say that he was a very common guy, but he understood this truth and he lived this truth. So, he, uh, and his, his, his life changed completely because, uh, as you know, when you uh, discover something so great, you know, and you live this, uh, if we, we should, we could, uh, I mean, I hope this is uh, something that we all should do. Uh, this is something for incredible, no? Incredible to have Jesus with us each day, no? If you exactly. think about this, uh, oh, we do cues, Carlo used to say, we do cues to attend a football match or uh, to go to the cinema or for, an, uh, for the release of the new uh, iPhone 7. That's right. <laughs> no, the iPhone 7. And then the, the, the church are empty, unfortunately. So this is incredible. For Carlo, it was incredible because uh, he, he said that if, if people realize, will realize. Right.
uh, that Jesus is uh, present in the uh, uh, really pre present in the Holy Blessed Sacrament, the Church would have been so uh, so full that uh, it would have been impossible to enter inside. You know, exactly. so this is a very big problem because um, people da, 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 don't realize they don't realize really this great gift we God, Jesus gave us. Right. That will change, really change our life. Is uh, we have uh, we have heaven already in this earth, no? Yes, this is incredible, no? But unfortunately, the faith uh, is a little bit the problem, no? Well, and it, and it is hard for people. You know, they they say that they believe, but because they don't see, they don't have eyes to see that that they. they they act lax, you know, they don't go to, to, to mass daily. They, they, they say they believe, but they don't act as they truly believe. And so I, I quite often point to the Eucharistic miracles. Of course, I always would, you know, bring up Lanciano because I think, you know, look, there it is right there. It's not only a miracle that it happened, but it's a miracle that it's still taking place that you could even go and see it today. Or thanks to computers, you can pull it up and see it. But what was it that made Carlo real, you know, come up with the idea of showing all the Eucharistic miracles? And, and you know, what, what, what was the little light bulb that went off and made him come up with that brilliant idea? But you see, uh, actually, once he went to a special meeting, it's called the Meeting of Rimini, that is the movement of uh, CL, Comunione Liberazione. I don't know, maybe you know a little bit, you heard about it. It's a very big movement, uh, Catholic movement. And uh, they used to do each year in Rimini this uh, big display of uh, fairs, of, uh, they show books, uh, new books, uh, they invite very important people, etc. And in this uh, show he went, uh, he noticed that there was nothing about the Eucharist. So he said, that by instead of showing painters and cars or whatsoever, they should show a little bit of this, uh, uh, because to help people to realize this uh, truth, no? Yes. And Carlo actually was uh, was uh, was a catechist also, because, they are, because he was very intelligent. And he knew nearly by heart the, the Bible, the, the, the Catholic uh, Catechism of, of, the, of the Church, no? Really, he was very, very, he had a gift uh, in this sense. And uh, so they saw he was so good that they asked him to do Catechism since he was uh, 12, uh, 13 years old, no? Mm. And he, sh he started to do Catechism. The problem is that he realized that people were so 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 far away, no? Yes. To this truth, and so yes. what? Uh, what uh, about so looking at this uh, show in Rimini and see also the situation of many people that uh, uh, don't stop to go to the church after the, probably the first communion, the confirmation, they stop to go to church. So he realized that uh, a good uh, a good way was also to, to, to show these people the Eucharistic miracles. Like this was a, a very big uh, uh, idea he had, actually, because then his, uh, this idea was uh, really rewarded a lot, because he had uh, actually his Eucharistic, this Eucharistic miracle also with the help of very, uh, a lot of people that uh, collaborate, but Jesus put in our past, no? Very strange how Jesus do the things, but uh, we had a lot of collaboration throughout the world. Uh, and in the United States, we have the Real Presence Association that is a real, uh, really, they are very good on this uh, displaying uh, love uh, through, uh, for the Eucharist. Uh, we had also other movement and they help us. And so the, this exhibition was displayed all over the five continents. So we also have in uh, Russia, in uh, Emirates, Arab, Emirates, There's China, Korea, Vietnam, India, Indonesia, uh, uh, Australia, uh, United States, a lot of places. So, so was uh, was in, if you think that a, a little boy of uh, 13 years old 
<laughs> from Italy <laughs> that had uh, no special... Uh, but he realized uh, a so big movement of evangelization is something incredible. No? So why the, the Vatican won't, would like to propose Carlo as a patron of the uh, Internet? Because, of course, uh, with this uh, little... Uh, uh, was a little child, a little boy that uh, had this great idea that uh, to use the Internet for the good, no? It was brilliant. For, uh, yeah. For, for propagating faith, no? So staying in Milano without traveling, no? It's a little bit like Santa Teresa of, uh, the, of the little Jesus that wanted to evangelize, no? And That's right, got a little way. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. it's a little bit, uh, Carlo did a little bit this in, in practical, no? Yeah. So staying in Milano, this, uh, this uh, very smoky uh, town <laughs> of Italy, uh, he did his, uh, his business of evangelization. <laughs> Let's do business, but it's not a business. We don't earn anything about this, but he earned a lot of souls, you know? Oh, a lot of people, a lot of people converted. A lot of people realized the 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 truth of the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. So this is something incredible, no? It does. And so this is the reason why the Vatican, because uh, we need um, a model, uh, a third third me third millennium. We are in the third millennium, no? Mm -hmm. so we need the model that uh, of a child or person that. Uh, uh, used all the things that all the all the all the boys and the girl of the throughout the world they use. So they play more PlayStation, uh, Nintendo. I don't know. Maybe there are also in America uh, computer, internet, etc. But, but used for the for the good. Right. So it was not possessed from this uh, uh, technological. Uh, new instrument but he, he possessed he possessed the, uh, and he used for the, the for the good because now the young people with this facebook all this uh, uh, social network they, they seems to be like uh, passive no right not active, you know. Right, it's all encompassing. They only focus on that yes. instead of. There are some studies that, uh, uh, scientific studies that say that uh, display that uh, there is a, uh, they 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 infiltrate the the level of intelligence of people, not the growth, huh? because they are, they can be also very you know a little bit hypnotic you know huh? yes we have a situation in which uh, the the young people now sit on the table with the parents and instead of speaking with the parents they yeah. are with the iphone etc so this is uh, me crazy this is right something, yeah. yes this is something that uh, so carlo uh, show a way to use uh, for the good for the right way these uh, uh, new technologies okay so with the, with the few few energies without to, to spend too much money, you can do a lot of things with the internet. You can imagine how much you would evangelize through angel, uh, internet. It's, it's a gift in a certain way that Jesus gave us. No, right. it's the famous gift that uh, allows us to 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 spread the gospel all over the world. Huh? So uh, this, uh, this is really something but we have to use for the good because, as you know, there is also a lot of pornography in this. Exactly. Uh, a major the, problem. Exactly. That, that is a big, big problem. If you think in Italy they did some studies that 60% of the children from 8 years old till 16 years old use uh, this pornographic uh, or oh. attend these pornographic uh, websites. So oh. this means that this uh, this uh, instrument can be also very very negative, you know, right. for the moral and the psychological uh, formation of people. So it's very very bad. So Carlo displayed this uh, this uh, with, through internet. He did also some website for the parish. He used to. Uh, to handle the, this uh, new program like uh, C, C++, all this uh, that normally the engineers, computer engineers use. So he used to, to handle with logarithm, I don't know how you say in English, but I think it's nearly the same. All this mathematical, uh, uh, he was able alone to understand, you know, reading, just reading these books. Or he was using, for example, this uh, new modern uh, 
programs like Illustrator for Photoshop in design or, or Maya, for example, for doing the 3D puppets, you know? Yeah. It was it's just to read the, the manuals, the things, and it was ready to... So, for example, if I think myself for using Photoshop, I don't know how many years I had to, to learn. <laughs> With private lessons. <laughs> so, for, me, for saying that, you know, probably you are much more... Uh, uh, easy with this. Uh, I don't know how to do any of it. That's what my teenagers are for, exactly. <laughs> anyway, because Americans are very much. Uh, yeah, no, I, I need my child, my daughter, to, to turn my phone on sometimes for me. I can't do it. No, it's yeah, ridiculous. If you think how, how difficult is it? Instead, the Carlo, a little uh, since he was ten years old, uh, he used to. Uh, he has some books like this. I mean. Uh, but, but he used, uh, as, as I said, he was a little bit a sort of genius, you know. Yeah. That is, uh, I don't know, you call this special child, I don't know, sometimes they show in the in the television that they have special gift in mathematics or whatsoever, no? Mm-hmm. And so he had, uh, in effect, Jesus gave, uh, gave Carlo this gift of uh, uh, understanding the informatic uh, uh, mysteries. <laughs> uh, but this uh, was just uh, something that probably Jesus gave to Carlo because he wanted uh, an example no, for this uh, internet. Uh, for other children, uh, the youth. Yes, for other children, yeah. for, uh, also for adults, because yeah. the problem is that also adults have to understand to to use this, uh, this, uh, these uh, instruments in, in the right way, no? Exactly. And uh, this, this exhibition, as I told you, was done because Carlo was worried about this uh, lack of faith of many people, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, he was very devout of Fatima, Fatima Shepherd. He had also some sign, a special sign from Fatima Shepherd. And... Uh, uh, he was uh, very, you know, he, he felt guilty because when uh, the Holy Virgin says to Francisco and Jacinta and Lucia that many souls go to hell because nobody prays and do sacrifice for them, uh, he kind of felt really guilty because he said, I mean, I have a responsibility, um, I'm co- co- a res- a resp- resp- responsible, no? On this, uh, so I have to do something for people, no? To help people, to 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 help people to understand, you know, not to. So he used to do little sacrifice, for example, following the example of the little shepherds, little things also to renounce, for example, to the sweeties or to see, to watch a film or whatsoever, no? Oh. So little things that everybody can do, also normal child, no? Everybody, not, the, not doing the, the penitence that they were doing in the medieval time. Eating himself <laughs> or whatever, right? No, yeah. no, not well, not it's things. the little way, like St. Like Therese, no. the flower, right? See, yeah. the, the, the Holy Virgin didn't ask special things, no? Yeah. She didn't say, do this, do that. She just said, do sacrifice. So she left to our self uh, free to do no exactly but when Jacinta used to 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 sleep and Francisco used to sleep with the chili show I don't know how you say in English but it's a sort of uh, uh, ribbon that you, you you turn on the waist no that gives uh, pain like a cord, a cord. Yes, yeah. like a cord and Jesus said no please uh, t- uh, to stop to use it no to the shield so you see I mean Jesus is not a sadic <laughs> in this sense no that's right so, but, so we, no but because sometimes there is in the in the collective imagination there is a, a, a there is a a, a wrong uh, uh, idea of Jesus, of penitence, of these things, you know, because right. we have to understand that, that uh, Jesus leaves us free, no? Of course, uh, he can give uh, he can give some gift to some special saint, like, for example, St. Francis, that could do fasting for four months consecutively. But St. Francis of Assisi was a special gift, uh, gifted person. So not everybody is called to uh, to do this penance, no? Okay. So some some people cannot even do a one day of fast because then they get uh, uh, a lot of problems, you know. Right. So this is uh, something. But anyway, uh, so this uh, displaying of this uh, exhibition 
the, 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 the motives was just to, to let, to show people how Jesus, uh, uh, through, through the ages, uh, all over the world, uh, performed the miracles just to increase our, our faith in uh, his real presence. So uh, this is something that really, for example, we have in our, in this, uh, in this exhibition, we have uh, cases of, of saints that live only uh, eating uh, Eucharist for uh, 50 years or 13 years, like for example, the blessed Alexandrina Maria da Costa. She, for 14 years, she just, uh, and she was also monitorized from the hospital, no, for many years. See, she just eat, used to eat a Eucharist, and she could alive, no. For Martha Robin, for example, that now is venerable, venerable, or uh, uh, Teresa Neumann. We have a lot of saying that. Uh, so this is a, a sort of uh, message that Jesus gives us, that like these people could uh, live only of Eucharist, so that to, to show that is very important. Also, our mystical uh, feed that is the Eucharist, no? Because uh, uh, Carlo used to say that uh, the Eucharist is my high, high way highway to, to heaven. Yeah, I know. I had that written down. I thought I thought that was nice. Yeah. He used to say also that uh, all people are born as original, but many die as photocopies. Yeah. Uh, and uh, to, to not to die as a photocopies, uh, Carlo used to say that it's very important to eat the Eucharist. Right. Because through the Eucharist, Jesus remained inside us, you know, for 50 minutes uh, in the species of bread and uh, of, um, of wine. Sometimes in some churches they do both the, the two, you no know, wine and bread. Or we, in Italy, we just take bread. But it, Jesus remained 15 minutes. And these 15 minutes, Jesus performed uh, fantastic things in our souls. So even if we don't uh, believe, let's say that if we don't believe, the church, the church says this, the, the Concilio of Trento says that even if we don't believe, or the, the priest is not uh, a saint priest, uh, because uh, we have the two possibilities, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the, the Eucharist is valid ex opere operato, ex opere operantis. That means that the Eucharist is anyway valid, uh, because Jesus anyway uh, acts in us, no? Right. He does wonderful things. And each time, Carlo used to say that each time we receive Holy Communion, we change our, our uh, Jesus changes us. We are not the same person person, even if we, we don't notice anything, no? Right. And of course, why some people can ask, ah, why there is that person that goes each day to the Mass and is always the same? <laughs> and I would answer to this person, listen, but if this person uh, won't go to the church each day, it would be much worse than he is now. Oh, no? Good point, right? Uh, and uh, the problem is that uh, we, well, our soul is a little bit like a vase. Let's say that it's uh, like a vase, no? Mm -hmm. So uh, a vase can be small, can be big, big, no? So we receive the water, we can take the water with a big recipient or a small recipient. That, that depends on us. Right. Of course, if Jesus sees in us the goodwill and the, the, uh, the attempt to improve ourselves, huh? because because Carlo used to say that uh, what is the point of winning a thousand battles if we can win the battle with ourselves? Huh? Because the battle is up with ourselves, with, with our corrupt, corrupt see, uh, passions, no? Because the problem is to improve ourselves, to get this virtue heroically. So that means to 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 fight all these. Uh, uh, all these uh, defect uh, we have in our soul. So the Eucharist really help us to do this improvement. And uh, if we, uh, uh, we, we we show Jesus our willing, Jesus then after give us more always more 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 graces. Right. Understand? But that is something that is a free 
choice of us. So because Jesus doesn't want to force anybody. He, was, uh, he wants our free love. This is the point. So Jesus uh, uh, gives us a, a, a gift uh, uh, that is uh, directly connected with, uh, with our will of, uh, of uh, improving ourselves, of corresponding to this uh, to his grace, you understand? Well, this is very important. So the Eucharist act anyway in us. So even if we are, uh, you know, for example, we are distracted, we receive the Holy Communion, Jesus does something. But of course, uh, the more we correspond to this, the more Jesus, because there were some saint, saints, for example, like uh, Santa the Saint Catherine of Siena, uh, she was used to illuminate herself, enlighten herself. Mm-hmm. Now, when she received the Holy Communion, right. so this is something that, uh, of course, you don't see to everybody. No, not every day. No. <laughs> Saint Francis of Assisi was not a, a priest, but was just a, a, a simple friar. He used to attend mass each uh, each day, twice a day, no, because he was very devoted to the Eucharist. So, of course, uh, uh, we can, uh, of course, everybody can become like uh, Saint Francis or Santa Caterina because all are born as originals no yes yeah. oh i see that we have wait, should we take a call before we show um, yeah go. wants to call okay yep. yes. am i connected yeah, call her hello you, hello. Yeah. hello welcome hello yes. can you hear me yep yes we can hear you what do you have a, a question for antonia hello yes can you hello. hear us yes. yes yeah go ahead what is your question yes um i was calling in for a missy the conti show my name is, is Bellagio Fazio. I had a question. Yes, go ahead. About that. This is uh, Christy. I, had a, I haven't watched the rest of the show. I'm sorry about that. But I was wondering how the cause for canonization started. How the cause for canonization for, for Carlos started, Antonia. Uh, yes, he said the the the, cow, the cause starts as soon as he died, actually, because already he had a uh, uh, fame of um, sanctity, because many people knew him, because he was very good. Uh, he used to help the pe- poor people, for example, with his. Uh, uh, he received some gifts sometimes of Hello. money from the parents. He used to buy, uh, you know, for the poor that sleep in the street. Uh, the, the, how you say, the one... Uh, he would feed the homeless? He would feed the homeless? Yes, yeah, so he, wa- he was giving, you know, the blanket to the poor. Uh, oh, very his, good. He used to do these things. Right. He used to, to, to what Mother Teresa said, that is very important that the good we, do, we can do under our home, huh? Right. He used to, to, to follow the advice of Mother Teresa. So we don't need to go to do trip in India whatsoever. We just have to go down in our, uh, in our building <laughs> and to see what happens around our, our, our area. Our, uh, there is uh, so much to help, no? Carlo was very known already when he died. If you think yeah. that uh, during his life, uh, we had uh, uh, a person that worked in our house that was an uh, Hinduist uh, of a Brahminian caste that is the most, most higher, the priesthood, the uh, Indian, uh, um, uh, how you say, the priest uh, for the Hindus. And he converted, then he became Catholic just with the example of Carlo. He wanted to be baptized, to receive the Holy Communion. So when uh, already he died, he had already people knowing him. In fact, uh, the first miracle, actually, he did the day of the funeral, because somebody who had the two uh, cancer prayed him. And uh, actually, this person now is good. The, day, this, the same day he died, the, the, we did the, the funeral, already the, some people started to pray him, you know? so spontaneously they started. So, well, what was the miracle that happened exactly? The- no, no, this was a cancer, but you see, but he did oh. he did also the miracles, but we cannot speak about it till oh, okay. the future. Okay. Huh? Okay. But anyway, he, he did not only one, huh? but just to say that already people uh, started to pray him already when he died in the in the funeral, huh? because he, he, they knew him. Okay, right, right. So and, even- and we should continue to do that. We should continue to call upon him for his intercession, right? 
Yeah, the, the, yeah. Definitely, if you yes. ask him, uh, probably he did some, uh, some, some also abroad, you know. For example, in, Bra- in Brazil, there are a lot of uh, prayer groups entitled to Carlo, where there are young people that are uh, attending a mass uh, each day. They, they put, they put uh, a sort of goal, no, to... Uh, and to do Eucharistic adoration, they entitled to Carlos. So they try to follow the example, spiritual example of Carlos. So this is already one of the fruits, you know, yes. since he was die. And it's, it's very well known also in some some countries, Philippines, so a lot of people uh, asking prayer of uh, Poland, uh, a lot of, uh, there are some countries where he is much more known. But for example, in the United States, through the exhibition, a lot of parishes uh, uh, had uh, the exhibition of Carlo, a lot of parishes in the United States. So Which we need, need to show those, yeah. Yeah. We actually have a few of the slides for everyone. Um, if you want this exhibition to come to your parish, you need to go to the website. What is it? It's carloacutis.com. In the United States, there is the Real Presence Association who is uh, promoting uh, with the Cardinal Newman Society a lot of uh, the Columbus uh, Columbus uh, Knights, no? Okay. A lot of groups are, are, are taking... Uh, um, who oh, are, are, are proposing this exhibition. Yes. So I think there is no need to write to us in Italy. Okay. Already in the United States, you can address directly to these people, but especially the Real Presence Association and the Education, this new, uh, that the law, they do a lot of good for this uh, exhibition. They did a lot. Huh? Carol J. Sadel probably is uh, something, somebody you know, no? Oh, yes, Carol. Yeah. Mrs. Carol J. Sadel. But, uh, you know, uh, um, as, as I was saying, uh, already when he died, so 2006 already, uh, there was this fame of sanctity. Of course, the, 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 the beatification process now is, uh, uh, is in Rome. And in Rome, uh, uh, there are some steps, bureaucratic steps, because as you know, uh, unless the Pope decide, uh, like for example, with John Paul II, they say, decided not to do all the steps, no? But this is, was a special thing. But normally, all the ca- canonization uh, codes have a, have a bureaucratic iter. Uh, so they have to follow, you have to wait, because in front of Carlo there are all the causes, causes, uh, edification causes. So. But anyway, it's going well. Uh, you know, we are very optimistic. So we hope uh, it won't pass too long uh, before to have uh, beatification, okay? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for your call. Oh, oh, okay. I guess she got disconnected. All right. Well, hopefully she heard it all. So now, why don't we go through some of the Eucharistic miracles? Yes, I think it's a good idea. Yes. Yeah. Well, so no. which so one we were, you thinking, pull up first? we were thinking about a little bit the the Eucharistic miracles the typologies. No, so we spoke about the fact that some. For example, were able to live uh, feeding themselves only with the Eucharist. So, right. so another type of uh, Eucharistic miracle was uh, uh, was um, Jesus perform um, the natural law. Uh, he he suspended the natural law. Like for example, when there was a, in Tumaco, for example, there was a, a sort of tsunami, no, mm-hmm. a big tsunami. So with the blessed sacrament, they stop. Uh, this uh, also there was so, some miracle. For example, there was a, a river that uh, went to inundate everything. To and that, for example, with the blessed sacrament, they stopped. You know these things. So there are a lot of cases of Saint this. Clair, Saint Clair yeah. carrying the blessed sacrament to, to ward off. You know, for Muslims actually. Right <laughs> there with the internet. There you go. Yeah. Now you have Trump that <laughs> will do the same. And also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, but anyway, the, the, the new president, we will pray for the new president. That's true, oh, yes. No, yes. but I'm sure that uh, with, the, with the, the grace of God, they can do well as well. But we have to be confident that uh, if we pray for our politicians, they will do good. But That's we right. have to pray, yeah? That's right, we definitely we have to pray. We don't pray too yes. much for right. politics. Yeah, we prayed anyway. many rosaries for this election. Yeah, we had our own battle of Lepanto here. Yeah, yeah. yes. And you are happy about the <laughs> yes. 
Well, we'll see. We're, we're, we're certainly have, well. I, we, the, the choice was: Do you choose the candidate that's for life or against life? I mean, it was it was a pretty pretty simple answer. You know, as a Catholic, you choose life, and yeah. um, and that happened to be Donald Trump. That was as good as it got. And the the I'm sure he can do yeah. a lot of good. Hopefully, huh? hopefully, he'll do well. Yeah, it looks like he's choosing some wonderful pro life people. So, God willing. I'd love to see him convert to Catholicism, but that's the next step. So that will continue our prayers for him. <laughs> this is very important. This is very important that uh, pro life because um, is a is a very uh, is a tragic thing. So you now you have a champion apparition, maybe that the Holy Virgin was uh, was uh, saying a lot of things uh, about abortion. Huh? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. We should read a little bit of this. Uh, messages that are very interesting anyway let's continue to speak about the recent miracle Hello, how so hope, which, uh, which one do you want to pull up first for, for so just to to display a little bit the typology of the Eucharistic miracle that there were apparition the holy host so that uh, a lot of people saw the jesus in the holy host so this is another type of uh, eucharistic uh, miracle no? okay. and uh, the most important uh, in my opinion are the one in which jesus uh, transformed the host in chair and the wine in blood right so these are the most important why why because just uh, to to show us really that uh, this the, this truth of faith is a reality is not just uh, not because some uh, apart the fact that you have the protestant you know that uh, they put in uh, in doubt this uh, this truth of uh, right they think it's just symbolic right uh, unfortunately because right. we have uh, Oh, so we have the Lutherans that say that there is the consubstantiation, consubstantiation. Right. That is, uh, it, it, with, uh, with the, the, the bread, there is also the presence of God, but it's a sort of... Uh, then we have uh, the Anglican, uh, then we have a very typology, various typology of uh, Protestant that they, they deny... Uh, the real presence, they say that it is symbolic or they say that they, because uh, the, all the assembly is uh, is united, uh, so there is the presence of God, like when, uh, for example, you, you pray two together. So this is, uh, unfortunately, these are errors. Right. Errors that uh, are also sometimes uh, a little bit in Catholic priests, uh, we find this. Uh, sometimes uh, some Catholic priests can have uh, sometimes a lot of confusion, I notice. Uh, right. uh, for example, there are uh, some that uh, think that uh, uh, a priest that celebrates alone um, Holy Mass uh, is something that has no sense. This is uh, untrue mm. because uh, it's very important that, that, that because in that moment uh, the priest represents Jesus that offered to God, no? Right. Right. The sacrifice, the holy sacrifice for our salvation, right. for the conversion of the world. So it's not true that uh, if uh, a priest alone uh, celebrates a, a mass uh, is, uh, isn't uh, valid the mass or something. So sometimes you find, uh, you know, new theological uh, movements, uh, you know, unfortunately. But anyway, what is important to understand that, that really Jesus, uh, when uh, the priests celebrate the Holy Mass, there is the real presence uh, uh, of Jesus. And uh, to just show this, uh, we start to play, to speak about the, mo the oldest uh, miracle, uh, that is the one of Lanciano, that is in Abruzzo in Italy. Lanciano, okay. Yes. So there was a priest that had the doubts where, whether or not uh, Jesus was present after the consecration, the holy host. So while he was celebrating, the host uh, transform, was transformed in chair and the wine in blood. Mm -hmm. So this was done the 700, uh, in the 700th century. So you see 1,300 years, uh, more than 1,300 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, this miracle was uh, kept, uh, you know, as a sort of relic uh, in this uh, church by the Franciscan friars. Uh, and uh, till uh, the 1976, the uh, the friar asked to a scientist, Professor Linoli, that was professor of the University of Siena and Arezzo, um, to analyze it and to see uh, really what was this uh, relic they had. So while he did all the ex exams. Uh, 
um, he uh, realized that uh, the, the chair was the muscle of the heart, the myocard, myocard. That is very, very important because, uh, as you know, the heart can beat because the, the muscle of the myocard right. uh, gives the movement to the heart. A little bit like the Eucharist does with the church because the, 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 the sacramentum caritatis, uh, the, 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 the Pope uh, wrote this very important document, Sacramentum Caritatis, uh, and he said that the, the heart of, uh, of our, our church is the Eucharist, no? And um, so, uh, first of all, to choose the, the chair, the chair was the heart, you know, that, uh, you know, I don't know if you know well, uh, you, the, 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 the first uh, Fridays, the, the devotion of the first Friday yes. of uh, Marguerite Maria Lacocque, no? Yes. The saint, the saint Marguerite Maria Lacocque. Jesus said that this is my heart, the heart that the soul of the, the man, no? And uh, speaks with the and ask for the devotion of the seven uh, first seven uh, the nine, uh, nine nine first Fridays yeah. yes and this uh, this uh, um, in, with this request he also asked for the consecration of uh, of uh, um, of uh, the king the king of France had to do the consecration to the Sacred Heart he didn't uh, in fact he said if we, he won't do and the, then we had the, the the, the French Revolution, no? We had a lot of problems. Also, for example, in the apparition of uh, Rue du Bac, the Holy Virgin, right. again spoke about this fact that the, the, the king didn't do the consecration of the heart, no? So um, already we had uh, Rue du Bac, the, the Miraculous Medals, no? The right. one of Santa Catherine Labore. Catherine Labore. Right. And then we had the same request, uh, if you think about also when uh, the, the first, uh, on Fatima, Fatima, the, the Holy Virgin asked for the, and the, she explicitly asked for the reparation with the seven, um, the, the five first uh, Saturday, Consecutively, right. reparation. And always, always with the Eucharist. That they ask the Eucharist. They, so they put the Eucharist as a first, uh, first request to do the Holy Eucharist to confess to do. Act. So the Eucharist is really the heart of the Church because through, and the Fatima is very Eucharistic. We will see after this. So also in Fatima, request a reparation for the Eucharist. No. And uh, um, Jesus uh, explained that uh, the Eucharist is, uh, is, uh, contains Jesus. Jesus, as we know from the Gospel, St. John is love, no? God is love. Right. So in the Eucharist, we, we have Jesus, the whole body of Jesus, so all the love. So it's the symbol. So it's, uh, the Church has, has always uh, uh, compared the Eucharist as a, as the heart of heart. Jesus. Right? Exactly. Okay. Right. So the fact that in the in the as Carlo used to say, the fact that in the miracle of Lanciano, the Eucharist was uh, transforming the heart is a very has a very big sig significance uh, mm -hmm. meaning, you no? Know? Right. Because uh, what does it mean? It means that all people of all the world. Uh, um, are called to be like like John, the this disciple, the, the 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 beloved disciple, no Saint John, no? right? But during the Last Supper, I don't know if you have mind that he he, he, he rests put, his head on his heart, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is a is a is a prefiguration. Can you say prefiguration? Can you, can I use this word uh, prefiguration? Prefiguration. Yes, prefiguration yes. of the call of all all the men of all, of all the century, all the that will uh, will uh, will live uh, in our world to be to, to become like Saint John, Saint John, the privileged disciple of Jesus. Why? How? How? How can we do? We became uh, like uh, Saint John, doing a, a very close li Eucharistic life, because to be to put our our head in the breast of Jesus means to put. Uh, 
to be in connection with the Eucharist, to be Eucharistic soul. So to fa the fact that Jesus displayed this uh, through St. John the Apostle, uh, and uh, in, the, in the Eucharistic miracle of Lanciano, he showed us that uh, the Eucharist was a, a part of was the heart. Mission. As a matter of fact, let me ask my producer, can, can you pull up the, the image of Lanciano, Italy? Um, I know you were scrolling through, but show where it has the heart and the um, and then it has the coagulated yeah. blood. The blood. Right. I can explain a little bit. So here, for example, I don't know, do you see my my... I'm pointing now the heart, the, the heart, no? Do you see my... We can't see uh, you pointing, but... But anyway, you see a sort of round things, you know? Yes. There are all the photos. And imagine that this, uh, this uh, miracle was uh, then after or analyzed by the ONU eh? from uh, 500 uh, uh, scientific uh, commissions. Right. And uh, one of the scientists, the rector of the Santuario of Lanciano, told me uh, that um, converted, he was another religion actually, and he changed, he became Catholic because he was so... That's quite a testimony, look at that. That's, and that's, that's great, that he, I'm glad that he was not Catholic. Because yeah. to see, and then you see the, 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 uh, something that is... Uh, uh, you cannot explain is the fact that the blood that, that became uh, the, the wine that became blood they analyze uh, analyze this and the they have the blood has the same parameter of the blood of a, a living person so uh, you know that after a few hours the blood uh, tend to coagulate no right so the fact and, and to lose all the properties so the fact that the blood is like if somebody had uh, taken from a living person five minutes after right. is something incredible is is a, is, a, is a miracle in a miracle you know yes. and uh, the fact that uh, Jesus performed this uh, miracle Eucharistic miracle and the host became a, a chair and the chair is, is is a part of the heart so that means really that the, the eucharist is the is the, is the heart of jesus the most important things and carlo used to say that this is a sign um, that uh, is very important for all the generation because you know uh, in the bible jesus tend to um, if you think on the old testament no Jesus, pre, God prefigurate a lot of things. You know, there were prefiguration of the bat, baptized uh, through the the passage of the, um, the, 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 the 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 good Moses to the water. No, that yeah. is a prefiguration of the bat, baptism. Right. There was a prefiguration of through the manna, the, the manna, the, the bread that the fell bread in the right. desert. No, that is a prefiguration of the Eucharist. Or, for example, Daniel, the prophet Daniel, that received the bread from the angel. That is a prefiguration. Right. Or the prophet Elia that received the bread from the angel as well. That is another prefiguration. So it's full of this prefiguration. Right. So why is full of prefiguration? Because Jesus is the church didn't invent anything. All the sacraments are in the in the gospel. Are the, the Holy Scripture give us all this. Uh, so it's not that uh, the, 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 the church invented something or created right. it as a fantasy, okay? Right. So it's important uh, to see also, uh, and this is very, very, that uh, this fact that the, 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 if you, we, we read the, 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 the Holy Scripture carefully, we understand that, that all is a message for the future nation. Mm -hmm. So it's not only for the old people, who, the people who lived, but it's a message also for us right. so also the fact that the saint john the the the, the apostle put the the the, the, the his his, uh, his head on the breast of jesus mm -hmm. is a is a is a is a is a message for us to become like saint john the the, the, the apostle mm -hmm. the, 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 the predilect disciple the, the beloved disciple no right and uh, why how? How doing a very close uh, Eucharistic life? And if you think that under the cross, there were the holy, holy virgin, the holy, there was the holy virgins with the other woman, no? And the only apostle that remained under the cross was Saint John, the, the beloved disciple, disciple, because right. all the other apostles uh, went away, no? So right. they were they were scared, no? 
Right. And, and if you think that the, each holy mass, that is each minute, so it's each second in the world, there is a holy mass that is a, is a, is a, there is a holy mass, no? And when they celebrate a holy mass, you renew in a not uh, cruel uh, way the same uh, sacri- the same sacrifice that was done from Jesus no each each time there is the renewal of the sacrament uh, of the, the 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 sacrifice of the cross mm-hmm. so what what does it mean for us to 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 attend the mass the holy mass is to show Jesus our love for him because it is like uh, to put ourselves in the same situation of the, the, the beloved disciple of the Saint John that was under the cross instead of going away, no? Mm-hmm. And so also, uh, also for us is the same message. So to attend the mass, to participate to the holy mass, mm-hmm. is to put ourselves in the same situation of the of the beloved disciples. So the fact that the Holy Mass will just go sometimes on Sunday, because some either the Sunday Mass, uh, they lose the Sunday Mass. And that means that we don't want to enter inside this intimacy with Jesus, because the more we receive the Eucharist, the more we, we became intimacy with Jesus. And Jesus transformed us like uh, and give us uh, his uh, his quality no right. so the more we are close with jesus jesus operate this changement that because each of, each of us was um, created by jesus so he knows he knows how we should become no right. so he help us he, with buddhism for example what what they do they do the yoga yoga ah. because they think that doing the yoga they uh, they can achieve a sort of be elevated in some way right right so with the christian uh, our with our with with, for us is completely different is jesus that transform us right not ourselves with with the meditation or whatsoever we just have to collaborate with jesus so this is the importance of being humble because we need jesus to help us to transform us, to make us a greater, a better person. Right. And, to- and he's there in the in the Holy Eucharist waiting for us. Yeah. We just need to we go. Need, we need his help because alone we cannot, because he's full of temptation, the devil, uh, the devil, without, uh, without, because we have the original sin, that this is already a big problem for us because right. unfortunately our nature is uh, is, uh, is like a wound. We, we have a wound, you right. understand? So right. we cannot, uh, so Jesus help us, but we, th- he needs our free will. So uh, this we is need to, We need to give our fiat, like the Blessed Mother gave her fiat. We need to give our yes, yes. Oh, 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 I see we have another call, though. Someone else has another call. Yep. Uh, yes. Is someone on? Yes. Hello? Go ahead. Christopher? Hello? Hello? Welcome to the show. Oh, hey. Christopher? Hi. Chris, yep. hello. Yep, go ahead. Hello. Go ahead, Hello, your Hi, Antonio. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Thanks for calling in. What's your question? Can you hear me? I yes. can't hear anybody. Yeah. Else. yeah. Oh, you can hear. Can you hear. Fine. Yep, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that you guys are, you know, Antonio, you're definitely right, especially about, you know, the internet and how it can be very good, and, you know, you can you can grow in the faith fast. Obviously, using it for what's right and everything else, but, um, you know, when those things are taken away, I mean, my my family and I, we had you know, food taken away, power taken away. And when you're able to actually get rid of that stuff, cause you don't have a choice with it anymore. You can, you can hear and, and you know, the silence, you can actually, you know, hear Jesus talk, and, you know, talk. And um, I just wanted to say, Hey, Levi, hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Got little ones there. And, um, uh, yeah, the silence thing that, you know, from all that, that you can, you know, especially with the Eucharist and, and being close with, with with God and and how important that is and you know I was very lucky to experience it and and still you know long for that you know to getting those distractions away but um, so you're yeah saying, it's wonderful so you I, I love the show you guys are doing you great and have... Antonio what a blessing and uh, Missy yeah. and you guys are doing a great job and thank you I just wanted to say uh, thanks for all you guys do too 
Well, th thanks for calling it. But I, so we want to make sure that I understand you correctly. So you went through a very rough time where you didn't have electricity or money. You were falling on hard times. And because of all of those distractions were taken away, it really helped you to hone in on the fact that truly what we really need is our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Right? Oh, did you hear me, Christopher? Oh, I think we lost him. I think that's what it was. I understand, I understand that he had a lot of uh, material problems. Uh, yes. And this created a little bit difficulties to attend uh, the Blessed Sacrament. Uh, what 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 was uh, the problems? That well, he I think what well, he was saying that he, because uh, I, I know that we've spoken with um, Christopher before, and he had had you know everything material wise taken away, and so suddenly when you don't have money and you don't have the noise of the internet and TV and everything, you're not bombarded with all of those outside distractions. He was really able, he and his family, to focus on what is truly the most important, which is faith and the most blessed sacrament and frequenting the sacraments. Um, that, that's, that's really, I, as a matter of fact, I know that that is one thing because I, I have spoken with him before. How about this? And, that, and that's good because, yeah, sometimes our Lord brings you down to your knees so that you look up and see truth, and that's what he yeah, did. I think it's true because, unfortunately, if we, we don't do the the, the the right use of uh, the material thing we have, uh, that uh, we is uh, unfortunately all the things uh, that uh, surround us can become a, a potential mm -hmm. idol. Idol, you say idol in English. Idol, yes. Uh, the problem is that it's very difficult <laughs> because uh, uh, what is the most important thing so is uh, to love G God overall and our our the other like ourselves. You no, know? this is the commandment that Jesus resumed. You no, know? the ten commandment in these two main most important commandments. Yeah. So to, to put G God at the, the, the first place. Uh, it's very difficult. Sometimes uh, life, unfortunately, reserves us a lot of uh, uh, sad uh, situation. But we, if we have always, uh, like uh, Carlo used to say, that uh, um, uh, one second, uh, because I want to see the translation, because it's important uh, to translate in the good uh, way that sadness, sadness, and to look on uh, ourselves and uh, happiness is uh, to look uh, to look uh, to God. No, this is the one of the things you used to say. And now I don't think uh, I don't find very well. Uh, uh, one second that I have to find my. Um, mm, happiness is looking towards God. The sadness is looking towards yourself. This is one of his uh, uh, the things he wrote. No, oh. this is true. No? This is oh, true. Yes. But when I say, um, sometimes maybe for for I, I understand that it was a terrible situation for the and uh, I I assure you my prayers. Uh, but uh, I, I'm sure that in this uh, tragic situation, it's really. Uh, unfortunately, the cross, uh, all the disciples of Jesus have to embrace the cross because we cannot be disciples of Jesus without experimenting what he experimented. The first of all, first that experimented the cross was the Holy Virgin, no? Right. So she was the, the most important person beloved from God, no? Right. So if she did, we have to do as well, unfortunately. But if we sincerely have this look over God, the God won't uh, abandon us never never right. and uh, the things uh, the bad thing can be from god transforming in good things you know right. uh, so sometimes from a, a very sad situation we can uh, understand the many things because unfortunately our nature when everything goes well uh, unfortunately sometimes we have a difficulty to find jesus no or right. to speak or to to move over God, you know, because we are uh, with these idols, you know, we are the materialism and narcissism, right? Yeah. So this is a, this is a, this is a true. But uh, you know, we have always to be uh, with the. Um, we have to be confident. Uh, we don't have to lose our confidence and uh, hope on Jesus. Uh, and we uh, we have to continuously pray, also to do a novena for thousands of time. Uh, 
because then you will obtain, I assure you, that if you do a novena to Jesus, uh, to the Holy Virgin, and you sincerely continue, because sometimes uh, Jesus proves our faith. So sometimes we don't have an answer straight away. Right. We need uh, uh, ears. But after, you, I assure you, Jesus will give you an answer. You will understand. Right. And he will help you. This is, a, this is a promise I do, because I know that Jesus does like this. So not to understand this, unfortunately, is to have a, a lack of confidence in God, no? And right. the first who, who had the, a lack of confidence in God was the devil, no? Right. That was an angel with all, uh, but he first dubbed And then there is Eve and Adam, Adam <laughs> that the two first uh, men, no? no? Right. So the problem is that the sin, we unfortunately, the disobedience and the lack of confidence in God, this is the problem, you know. Right. So uh, this is related to our um, original sin. Yes. It's our weakness, right. Yeah. yeah. Now, is, what about the, um, some of the other miracles? I mean, I, you mentioned Lanciano, which happened so long ago. But there yeah. are more that, are, I mean, some as recent that are church approved. That's the big thing yeah. to say. As yeah. recent as 2013? Yes. The most recent is the one on Tuta in Lenik, Lenikishka. That's in Poland. Uh, get the Poland. producer to pull that up. But, uh, yeah, it's very that important. Up. The L. Yes, because uh, it was approved from the church. It was approved from a commission of scientists. And uh, uh, the same, uh, during a mass, uh, a host fall uh, on the ground. They try, maybe you can see a little bit the sort of drawing he asked uh, to do a painter to, the, to show the miracle. Okay. So this host, then they put in, the, in, in a recipient with water, because this is what the canon law uh, gives as uh, uh, as uh, as instruction to do. Oh, when, I can uh, see it. Oh. I can see it right there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they analyzed, and the same, uh, they discovered that is a myocardic uh, section of the heart. Again, the heart. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then we have another Eucharistic miracle yeah. that was performed in 2008, I think. Uh, that is the one of uh, Sokolka. So Poland. Okay, that's another one in Poland. Okay. Yes. Can you pull and that one? Is that it? Okay. Here. Okay. And also with this miracle, it happens more or less the same things. And uh, they, uh, com a scientific commission analyzed, and they, they, they saw that it was the same like uh, Lanciano. Is, uh, the, 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 the chair is uh, the part of the heart, the myocard, okay? So this is the second uh, answer. And the, 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 another miracle is Tixla that happened in Mexico. Mexico. Uh, just after the 2000, I don't remember if 2006, 2007, something like this. But anyway, this Eucharistic miracle as well okay. had the same uh, uh, situation. The host transformed in uh, the new card uh, um, they, they analyze. If you go on, you can see a little bit. Oh, so right there. there. In, yeah. And they analyze, and it's the same, the myocard. Okay? And the thing is, it's not like there's a panel of the same and, scientists and, that are checking and, it. It's and, unbiased and, opinion. Right? No, but you have unbiased, to read unbiased it, yes, uh, You have to read because there are a very serious uh, scientific analysis and also right. the church. Uh, so it's uh, something incredible. And then we have the one of Buenos Aires where our, our actual pope uh, was, uh, was, uh, was cardinal. And he asked a doctor, Professor Castagnon, to, to do some analysis. Bueno, okay, and, uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina, or Venezuela? Uh, Venezuela? Yeah, yeah. He's a professor, uh, yes, of uh, okay. Venezuela, a professor. He's a very serious person. He was an atheist, uh, and he converted after. Okay. And he analyzed this uh, Eucharistic miracle um, for, uh, and it was incredible what they discovered. And I tell you only this, that one of the scientists they, they went to, to do the analysis was uh, of the Columbia University was a professor Zikiki um, is a very famous professor anyway you will read that now I don't remember all the name of the scientist but anyway and this professor when he received the sample he didn't know that it belonged to the host 
because he was a pathologist, no? And oh, he, he used okay. to analyze this. So when he received, he didn't know anything. And um, and he noticed that when analyzed, he said, but this is a living, it's a living heart. So how can be is a living heart? He, he had a shock, no? <laughs> like a shock because he couldn't believe in his, uh, because uh, it was pulsing, uh, pulsing. It was know? pulsing even while he was testing yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, when they told him <laughs> that it was an host, he just was nearly fainting. You <laughs> 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 can imagine. No. So you have to read a little bit. And uh, I see, because uh, after Carlo died, he, there were a lot of the Eucharistic miracles that Jesus performed. And one of the things I used to say to my son, Carlo, I used to say, listen, but Carlo, uh, Jesus should perform now some miracles because people can say, oh, well, all, all in the past and not now. Right. And instead, uh, uh, we had a lot of uh, Eucharistic miracles after uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in our time, actually, you know? So it's something incredible. Which many people, we don't know that. And, that. and that's the beauty of what you and your son have done in pulling all of these together and compiling yeah, this list for us. These, these three new Eucharistic miracles we did ourselves, we put, because unfortunately it was already died. You know? But yeah. anyway, this is answer, in my opinion, because I said to Carlo, well, you should ask Jesus or Carlo to perform now, you know? Right. So I'm sure in the in heaven, Carlo is uh, is in, uh, is doing an intercession so that uh, we can have a uh, uh, true uh, true uh, proof also now, no? Not right. only in the past, because one can say ah, an atheist can say ah, but only in the past, who knows, etc. No, instead right. <laughs> till now he's performing crazy miracles, so it's incredible. Right. And then he did the, the one of Lanciano, no? Yeah. So what, what is the, the the moral of all these things? So now if we have to do uh, to resume uh, that in the in the Eucharist really there is a heart of Jesus, no? Right. There is the, 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 what, the source of his love. And what does it mean, uh, this? Uh, we, uh, what is the, the goal of our life, no? To become saint, no? To love God over all and to love, to love the others like ourselves. Right. And where is the, for, the source of this love? In the Eucharist. Right. So the more we eat the Eucharist, the more we uh, we grow in this charity, in this love for God and for the the, the others. No, right. and this is the the, the 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 most important things because we have to grow in the charity. These virtues, no, is the one that will remain after our death because all the other the faith, hope will go away. No, we don't need. But what will remain for the eternity? is uh, how we will uh, we will have loved God and how uh, the, we will have uh, um, love our uh, our neighbors no right so this is uh, the most important things well and it's and what one thing that's really important is when we see these Eucharistic miracles and we can see our Lord is truly present we also need to remember that we need to protect him because as you I'm sure know there are horrible things where people steal consecrated um, uh, hosts and use them for satanic, you know, worship, yeah. if you want to say and that, or black masses. Uh, and our Lord is truly present. We need to do everything to protect yeah. him. Yes, this absolutely. But uh, you know, Jesus is much more, more, more higher than we are. Well, much more generous, because when the, the satanic satanist uh, steal the host, he offer himself to the Father for them. You know, yeah. even yes. if we, we we find it horrible, but in that situation, he offer himself for the for the salvation of these uh, souls. You know, right. So right. Don't, don't don't worry that Jesus. Uh, <laughs> is much more <laughs> powerful and uh, much more uh, uh, he, he, the, the charity of, of God of Jesus is so infinitive. So, so he continues to give and give and give. And we need to make sure, like Carlo, that we give proper thanksgiving, like you said. Our Lord is within us for 15 minutes. So, depending on the Mass that you go to, you know, you've received Holy Communion towards the end of the Mass if you go to the Novus Ordo, um, Novus Ordo Mass. It, it's pretty much you receive Holy Communion and everyone starts to leave, but really you should stick around yes, and pray and Thanksgiving, give proper Thanksgiving. They say that is most the most a saint to say the Santa Teresa d'Avila say that is the most precious moment we have. Uh, 
the 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 the, the remerciment uh, moments after Holy Communion because we can deal with God. Yeah. No. Right. We can speak with God. Of course, people is distract uh, straight away, goes run away. Right. <laughs> but this is something because they don't have a little bit. Uh, they lack a little bit on faith. No. Right. Right. Uh, well, that's understand. why they need to to go to the website, go to carloacudas.com, and there's so, there's such a, a plethora of information on there. For example, your the cartoon that you have that has um you, you've got it in many languages english is yeah, one of them english english in google you can find carla cutis you will find also my the eucharist my highway to heaven this is a catechesis what that was uh, reproduced with a with a sort of cartoon we did no it's wonderful so that carlo you can see how carlo used to speak okay? right Right. No, well, the miracle, the one that was called the miracle, miracle of Lanciano, I thought it was just simply going to be about that, about the miracle of Lanciano. But it was truly, it was, I think, 49 minutes of an amazing catechism lesson. It was so packed that I even told my family, okay, we're going to end up watching this probably five times because we need to stop and talk about each little section. It was chock full of important information, but the beauty of it is it's it's within a cartoon, so it's it's easily watched, it's comfortable, and and that's the beauty of what you're doing and what your son did is it's not a theologian that's trying to teach you about the Blessed Sacrament and about you know the miracles. Someone as simple as a 13, 15 year old boy got it. He got it because he had faith. He loved our Lord. And he wanted to spread that information with everyone. And you're continuing to do that through the website, which people, I, I love that when you click on, um, and so everyone, if you go to carloacudas.com, and then you'll see a section, there's many things you can click on. It's, it's wonderful. It's but then if you click on the miracle, um, the Eucharistic miracle website, you can go to something called the virtual museum. Yes. And you can go country by country and read and see the pictures of the miracle, of the Eucharistic miracles of, that are happening or that have happened one by one, go country, by, which I have to ask, there hasn't been one in the United States yet, has there? But, uh, uh, recently, I heard that there was one in Brazil, uh, not the United States, but- Not the United one. States. Okay, so Carlo, we one need to call upon Carlo's United intercession States. for United States. Yeah. Yes, unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have still one that is recognized in the United States. I'm sorry. Right. That's right. So that's <laughs> that would be our next. Okay, that's that's the next. Because I saw you in Brazil, there is one that could be an Eucharistic miracle that was performed uh, just uh, this year. So we we are still waiting for uh, information. Church approval. Okay. Okay. Well, we I saw can. Italy had a ton. Italy had uh, a ton Italy. of them. And did, the, did you travel? Did 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 you and Carlo travel around to many of the um uh, of yes, the unfortunately, I, I was a little bit a victim of Carlo because uh, to get all the photos <laughs> we had to go, for example, in Spain or uh, some places, no? So uh, with the excuse uh, we had to go to take these uh, photos of this Eucharistic uh, miracle because sometimes they they keep very secret, you know, the priests sometimes they don't want to to show or they are very silent. <laughs> and so this is a little bit a pity, you know, because they should... Uh, spread uh, all the good news uh, instead that they keep uh, very to, to themselves. I don't know why there is this tendency sometimes in the right. church to, to keep it everything secret. Uh, no? But anyway, I was a victim because I had to accompany my son sometimes, me, my husband. And once we were uh, in Spain, uh, Spain is a very arid uh, earth, you know? Okay. It's a little, a little bit like you are arid uh, Arizona. This uh, the big oh, yeah. uh, desert it was so difficult to find, and so and it was full of this arid uh, thousand or kilometers of arid uh, steps. And then at a certain point, likely we saw a little village with a church after uh, yeah. hours of, of of driving, and finally we could get. Uh, uh, to get this uh, Eucharistic miracle. Actually, it's the one of Daroka. It's very difficult to get it uh, in, this, uh, in this sanctuary. But anyway, so I, I was very scared because I said, if the car will stop now, who will help us <laughs> in the middle of this? 
<laughs> anyway, uh, every, uh, uh, God, uh, uh, God uh, protected us, and we could get some photos that were very difficult uh, to to have, no? Because some, as I told you, some photos are not easy, no? The important thing is there were some books about the Eucharistic miracle that were produced, but not with all these photos, all these things, no? So it's very important to to see, no? Right. That's what makes what you've done so unique. That's what's so wonderful. Yeah, because to go on the website and actually be able to... I'm sorry, what was that? That was done from Carlo with his, his, uh, his Cartusian patients because it was like, uh, you know, hours of work, you know, with the computer, with the things. So you see, it's, uh, it's really incredible what he did. I huh? was yeah. able also to, to work on the photos, to do things because uh, it was not easy to sometimes they were very bad quality you know so he did a very good job huh? well we, we owe him a, and, and you a great debt because now i mean for people that have the doubt the slightest of doubt about the true presence of our lord they can go and see the pictures or even better they can sponsor it and have the exhibition done in their home parish they 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 go to the website and and they can print out the, the pictures and get the yeah, information right it's free, no? it's free no there is nothing to pay so right. uh, this is very important we have to respect the the will of carlo uh, that uh, wanted wanted a gratuity in the church you know wanted that the things were free free of charge because these are uh, the all these miracles all these things belong to all the all the people of the all the world you know so it's not something that you one has to pay to get it or whatsoever. And uh, I think it's a good uh, uh, thing that everybody can go and uh, download the many languages, no? Yeah. You can play, you can also use for catechesis, you can also print in a smaller format because uh, normally this exhibition we print uh, as a sort of a 60 centimeter, but I don't know in inches, but anyway. Uh, there is a special format, but uh, you know you can also do smaller uh, A4 uh, sides, you know, and you can use and read the four catechesis. Then there is also, I think, uh, the Real Presence Association uh, produce a, a catalog. I think uh, we give permission, so they have a book. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe they sell through Amazon, I don't know. And uh, the Real Presence Association, I know that they bring the exhibition. Uh, you know, they did uh, many, send, send, send a lot of thousands of uh, parishes, I don't know, a lot of thousands of parishes in the United States. Right. For example, now there is the exhibition of the Holy Virgin that we recently finished to, to do because while Carlo... That before he, while he was uh, he just was preparing this exhibition uh, but after he died so he couldn't finish so we finished for him uh, right. and now it's ready it's ready in english spanish uh, uh, french uh, now is, is that highlighting the 2200 um 2200 apparitions of the blessed mother is that yeah, what not, that is not all but the most important the one in which the holy virgin spoke Okay. Because it's important to do the catechesis of what the Holy Virgin says when he, she appeared. No? Right, right. So if you see, she always asks for reparation, to change, to convert. She always say, ask the same things. No? Right. And pray so, the rosary. Pray the rosary to right. convert, to do, to repent, to do, to change life. She always, she always guide ourselves in this uh, uh, to 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 become a to saint, no? So she right. wants us to become a more saint. Also, because, uh, for example, the the shepherd the Jacinta of Fatima said that if people will understand what is eternity, they will change life straight away. Mm. Because the problem that people doesn't don't think about eternity, no? Right. The, eternal, uh, the problem is that they think only on the horizontal uh, aspect of their life, so they just see the horizontal uh, or, or, horizontal things, no? Not the right. vertical, <laughs> because they right. don't look at the, the sky, no? Right. And Carlo used to say that uh, sanctification is not um, about more, it's about less. Less me, me to leave space for God. So this is what he say. 
not law of one cell, but the glory of God. Our aim has to be the infinite, not the finite. So, no, the infinite. <laughs> so, God, uh, God and not me, because in Italy we say, non io ma Dio, no? Because we have the same, uh, so it's, uh, it's much more uh, stronger, this word in, in Italian. But anyway, also in English we can say, God and not me. All people are born as original, but many die as photocopies. The, the only things we really have to fear is sin. No, these are all the things written from Carlo. If God has our heart, we will have the eternity. I, I like when he said, to always be close to Jesus. That's my life plan, to live yeah. with Jesus, for Jesus, and in Jesus. Yeah, and this is what the thing. So this is my... Uh, why, uh, how you said my wish, you know? Now I wish you to be always closer than uh, to Jesus, then uh, because this is the most important things. No, for right. the rest of things are not important very much, you know. Well, and, not- and I and I see that we've got someone that called in, but she was just asking for prayers for her daughter Angela. And I have to say that one thing that we've already been doing is we went to the website on the carloacutis.com and we clicked on where there's um, the prayers. You can ask for prayers. Um, there's the uh, prayer intentions, but then there's also, and I think it was, is it the monks? Um, there's a, a, a number of monks. We ask, we ask the Cartusian monks that are, in my opinion, really special because they are the one that they live as hermits all alone, you know? Right. And then they pray in the evening, uh, the night, they don't sleep, they stay always praying, you know, they do a very tough life. Uh, for example, they eat once a day, you know, oh. so they are very, very special people. Right. And uh, we ask them to celebrate each day a mass in union, in union with Carlo right. for interceding for a lot of people who ask us prayers. Then there is also me, my husband, some uh, close to that are praying because I believe very much as Carlo too to the cluster nuns prayers and the monks okay right. because these are right. people that are living for God they live everything you know just to, to dedicate them their life to to the salvation of the souls and to God. No? So these are special, really special people, no? Exactly. So you should also attend some of this convent if you can. I don't know if in, in, in the United States, I'm th- I think that you have this convent, no, of cluster nuns. Carthusian? So you should ask always prayers to these people. Right. The Carthusian or uh, Claire, Claire, Saint Claire uh, nuns. Or, the poor or uh, Carmelites, nuns, Carmelites, of course, or Benedict yes. nuns, right? The, the one, the, the clo- close to nuns, the one that lives always close in the right. As a matter of fact, that, the one that, that sing my opening song on my on the uh, the intro, the Benedictines. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yes, you should uh, you should ask uh, prayers. You know, it's very important also to ask prayers and the help to these people. But well, anyway, and so, we'll uh, pray. And they can go to the website so Angela, and, and put in Angela, prayer intentions. Well, Angela, we will put in our prayers uh, for your daughter. But, oh, uh, thank you for Angela. You remember that the saint can act in life, in our life, but uh, we need to collaborate. Right. Because God wants our collaboration, huh? okay? So we pray, yes. but you too have to pray, okay? Yes, yes, oh, I'm sure she will. Well, my dear, it is, uh, it, it, I think it's time that we need to, uh, I, I would like to say the official prayer asking for the beatification and canonization of the servant of God, Carlo Acutis. How does that sound? Yeah. Okay, yes, I'll yes. say it, and everyone just uh, let's let's see if my if the producer can put that up. Oh, he's got it up there. Okay, okay, let's say that in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. O Father, who has given us the ardent testimony of the young servant of God, Carlo Acutis, who made the Eucharist the core of his life and the strength of his daily commitments, so that everybody may love you above all else. Let him soon be counted among the blessed and the saints in your church. Confirm my faith, nurture my hope, strengthen my charity. In the image of young Carlo, who growing in these virtues, 
now lives with you. Grant me the grace that I need. And you can say your prayer intention to yourself. I trust in you, Father, and your beloved Son, Jesus, and in the Virgin Mary, our dearest mother, and in the intervention of your servant, Carlo Acutis, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I say it in Italia because oh, I, that's why I think, yeah, and I could have said it in Latin, I suppose, but <laughs> I'm not that good. I, I'd be lying if I said I was. <laughs> well, of course, uh, we don't know I have any more Latin because before Latin, everybody in the world uh, understood the Latin. And now we change, uh, and unfortunately, exactly. And we and and it's funny because we've gone to the Latin Mass for 20 years. Yeah. Um, the traditional Latin mass, but still, I wouldn't be able to convert this to Latin. I'm, I'm still ignorant in that. So I, you, don't you speak like eight languages or something? I, you know, I, I definitely... I speak a little bit of language, not very well, because uh, I speak ev everything, but I can communicate at least. <laughs> well, you're, you're doing wonderfully in English, I can tell you that. So oh, thank you. Thank you again so much for, for joining us today. And please feel free to come back whenever you have the opportunity we'd love to have you on you're a wealth of information and and please keep us, keep us updated on his beatification canonization we want to we want to hear more because we need to spread the word about this wonderful young man we are going to produce new cartoon new things then we will uh, translate it in them in english so keep an eyes also on the website huh? so that everything will be also announced through facebook groups and uh, the website but anyway we'll uh, we'll keep in touch huh? oh that sounds wonderful so, and, and you have a youtube so channel as well so i should tell everyone to be sure what, what is the what is the name of your youtube channel uh, i don't know because in facebook there are many groups uh, entitled to carlo that we didn't do but they did all the devotes so there is okay well I, I know that the cartoon can be seen on the on the website so and, and and actually, if everyone, if you keep a keep an eye on, um, I'll try to make sure that I post things on. I will Facebook. send you the last uh, production of the Vatican. Uh, the Vatican oh. produced a, a, a docu film over Carlo. The, oh, it's really the Vatican in itself. And I will send you. Uh, if you send me your address, I will send you as a gift. It's also translated into English, so you can watch. Uh, you can uh, show. Okay. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so be on the lookout. We'll try to post everything that we can on our YouTube channel, the uh, Faith Life Family Wear YouTube channel, as well as the Fiat Ministry Network channel. Um, please make sure that you visit our website, fiatministrynetwork.tv. Click that donate button because without you, we can't do what we do. And please be sure to shop Faith Life Family Wear for your clothing and accessory needs that help you to take a stand with style. Thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all, Bona Natale, and um, God bless you. Bye-bye.